Hey everyone, Matt here. So it's another beautiful day in the North Okanagan Valley and today we're going to be stealing some honey from Steve. So as you can see, I have the Vortex Bee Escape in here which I installed last night at uh, about 8 o'clock at night there. And there's actually honey that we're going to steal all the way down into the second box. But when I was installing this, I noticed that there was some brood uh, in the bottom of the one frame there. So if we were to install it down below that box, the, the bees would never leave that brood. So there'd still be lots of bees in there. But so what I did was I put it in between the top box here and the middle box. So we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with this bottom one by just taking one frame out and brushing all the bees off it um, and then putting it into a, a box far away. So as we're going through the frames today, you're gonna see that I made a big mistake a couple weeks ago. My bright idea was that when I was going away for two weeks and flow was on and I thought it'd be a great idea to checkerboard, <laughs> checkerboard the honey supers with foundationless frames. But what I learned last night and what the problem is, is that when you do that, it's more time efficient for the bees to just draw out the existing comb from either side into that empty space. So today you're gonna to see some big wacky thick honeycombs, but it's all learning experience. Let's get into it. So there's a few bees in it, maybe, maybe 10. Sweet, you can see through that. Let's see how many are trapped in there. I'll get you closer here. Oh yeah, I'd say there's some there, hey, <laughs> trying to get in. Look at that. So yeah, they couldn't, uh, couldn't figure out how to get in there, so they're just... <laughs> oh man, cool, I'll put this to the side. So we'll just brush off whatever few bees are remaining in this box here and transfer it to the other box. There's my hunt tool. Dark, really dark. So that box isn't as far along as I thought it was, and there's actually still 
up inside is a, a big brood area. So I'm just gonna close it back up. So now we're gonna see if Timmy and Jimmy have uh, some frames to give up. all packed with pollen there for them. Won't be taking that one. And that one's just got just a tap of brood there on the tip. Right here. Same on the other side there. We'll leave that down for them there. Honey and brood. Capped honey. <laughs> A little bit of brood in the middle there. So only got those two really cross-combed ones that in the previous video there I said that we'll just not cut them apart, we'll wait till, until they're all honey, they'll just take them out. Um, and I did put into uh, empty frames there in case they want to build some wax, but once we get those extracted I'm going to put the uh, drawn out comb back in there for them anyways. Okay, and finally we're going to check Patricia and see what she's got. So we just got one frame out of that. Um, it was pretty much all brood on the top there. Two frames on this side were full of uh, nectar. 
but uh, on that side there, the the black frame, the only plastic frame I have, basically, was all full of brood. So I just put in a frame in there. So that's it for part one. Don't forget to go check out part two, Getting the Gold. And if you like what you saw, thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.